Topping today's news, the Shantytown Task Force sending a strong message on Abaco. The Prime Minister reacts to the U.S. travel warning about crime in the 242. The government officially launches its Renewable Energy Initiative for New Providence and the official opposition critical of the government's handling of the Road Traffic Department. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Jorino Saunders. This is your JCN Evening News. It is a pleasure to have you join us. The Unregulated Communities Task Force in the Ministry of Public Works, they won Abaco this past weekend, renewing their assessment of unregulated communities following two recent demolition exercises here on New Providence. Today, Minister of Public Works Clay Sweeting sought to give an update on some of the activities on Abaco this past weekend. All right, so when we was on the ground on... Uh, Wednesday and Thursday, um, the team visited uh, two uh, shanty towns there where they produced notice, 28 do day notices for the residents of homes who were not built under the Building um, Control Act to either provide proof or um, demolish their own homes. If not, after 28 days, uh, we'll ensure that the homes are demolished. Um, so we're giving them the time, also social services, and uh, environment and health also traveled there on Thursday to do an assessment. On Friday, uh, I think 10 homes were uh, were demolished, 10 structures, uh, not homes, that were built since um, we did our first assessment. Minister Sweeting said nine generators that were powering both locations he spoke of were removed because of the health hazards and danger of electrocution. He said the government is standing firm on the issue that individuals cannot simply come to the Bahamas and build anywhere and any kind of structure without proper authorization. Um, we'll do just like we did in New Providence with uh, All Saints Way, the Cool Acres. Um, the government is real strong on this issue. Um, you know, Bahamas is for Bahamians. Um, everybody's entitled to a home, but everybody's entitled to do it in the right way. So we're very strong in our, our stance on this. I told the persons in Abaco when we had the town meeting Thursday night that we ain't come to play. So we're very serious and we're sending a strong message to persons throughout this country. There have been reports of several new shanty towns emerging on Abaco and some of its keys. The government also has plans to address the shanty town issue on Andros, Grand Bahama, and Eleuthera. Travel alerts are subject to the country that issues that alert. This coming from Prime Minister Philip Davis when asked for his reaction to the recent level two travel advisory issued by the United States to its citizens regarding travel to the Bahamas and the safety concerns as a result of the high rate of murders with 19 homicides already for the year. Well, first of all, is tra yes. travel alerts are subjected to the country at issue. We issue travel alerts as well, warning our citizens about countries where we feel that they could get dangerous, be, be at risk. And, uh, and, it, and the advisory is primarily just to be careful with, uh, about, about your surroundings. Right now, it's unfortunate that sometimes these, the message away is out, uh, sends shockwaves amongst our citizenry, but they need not to worry about those because nothing has impacted the country um, as those advisory. Um, each country has the duty to tell their children that they are their citizens about, about matters that are of concern to them. The United States Embassy, Nassau, advised its citizens to exercise increased caution while visiting the Bahamas. Prime Minister Davis was speaking to reporters outside the office of the Prime Minister this morning when he ensured visitors from around the world that it is indeed safe in the Bahamas. Prime Minister Davis noted that some U.S. media houses reported inaccurately on the advisory. I would, I would have wished that they did not put it the way they did, but how could I stop them from doing it? What do you say They've to visitors? Huh? What do you say to visitors here? Bahamas is a safe place to come. I continue to come. We, um, we, we, they'll be safe uh, here while they're here. The Bahamas is what it is. No, because that was in the meantime, Minister of Tourism, Investments and Aviation, Deputy Prime Minister Chester Cooper, informed that his ministry will use its resources in tourism offices in cities around the world to spread the message that the Bahamas is indeed a safe destination. 
Renewable, reliable, and affordable. That is the theme for the government's renewable energy initiative. Today, the Ministry of Energy and Transport launched its renewable energy proposal that is expected to create opportunities for renewable energy generation here on New Providence via microgrids and clean fuels. Prime Minister Philip Davis speaks about the importance of this proposal. For far too long, high prices and unreliability are putting the human families and businesses undermining our progress and our prosperity. We are building a new energy reality for our country, one that is cleaner, more affordable, and more reliable. Today, we are taking a very big step forward with an RFP for significant solar energy infrastructure up to 100, up to 100 megawatts in New Providence. This request for proposal is a very important component of our larger reforms of the energy sector, which feature massive investments and upgrades in how we generate, store energy. Along with new solar energy in New Providence, we are significantly expanding use of solar energy on our family islands. Minister of Energy and Transport, Joe Beth Kobe Davis, shared more details on the proposal as well. The goal of the RFP is to create more independence in energy generation on new Providence, utilizing clean fuel and renewables. To fulfill this objective, the government is calling on stakeholders to join hands and help us to keep building a more resilient and sustainable nature. We invite world-class firms who have proven experience to participate in building process to provide our people with better and more affordable electricity. The Renewable Energy Initiative is also expected to have a positive impact on local businesses that may be able to offset some of their high electricity costs. Minister Kobe Davis informed that site tours will begin on February 12th. For more information, you can visit the Ministry of Finance's website. We'll take a break here. We'll be right back after these commercials.